I'm trying to actually see what my QFE is set to on my backup. I don't think I can see it. Nine. Seven. Or six one. Looks like it's already set. Mine is definitely not. But I can't see it because it's underneath the freaking. Can't read underneath any of the, the numbers. What? The giant needle. Hmm? Where well, I don't know where you're looking. My backup ADI. Oh. Or not, not the altimeter, the backup altimeter. Ah, uh, what's up with that? What's that I can't, I can't read the number. Ah, uh, I Don't usually just look at the last two numbers. I can't see any of the numbers where it needs to be. The, the whole thing is completely covering it. Uh, maybe just the last number. Because if, if it's uh, on zero, 0, you are in the correct altitude for here. I guess that's true. Uh, I just look, like for example, yeah, I don't see the middle numbers, so I just put the 1, so I know it's yeah. the correct one. Because it's... Uh, uh wait. Where did I put one again? Not that because it's nine six one. What? I thought did you put in three points or two or did it not load correctly? I put in three points. I keep looking, you might be looking at the wrong one. Check the date. Uh, I thought I did. Oh. Yeah, for some reason it's got other ones in there which doesn't make any sense. Oh, it got bumped accidentally. That's what it was. Okay, reset. Okay, let me double check what my controls I set up for adjusting QFE. Yep, I did that there. Okay, now it's working. All right, I am green. Okay, I'm back to being green. Okay. After redoing my data cartridge loading. Yep, same. <clears throat> okay. Uh, who's on what side of me? I'm on, I'm the, on right. the left. I just started moving. Yeah, I'm moving on the other side too. Shut the hell up. Which direction are we going? Left? Left.
if you want to park in the same spot, we're going to have to back taxi the one we come back. We don't need to. Technically speaking, a lot of times they wouldn't even land at the same road base. But as we only have one road base here so far. Mm. Oh, I need to shut you off. <laughs> Silence. Oh, cock. I'm not sure what the protocol is for using this runway, but I'm assuming just straight down the middle is fine. Yeah. I don't think it's set up for formation takeoff. I mean, there's enough space, but yeah, no, probably not. Navigation. Check, check. Alright, spilling up. And rolling. Oh, that's cool. The uh, grass is getting blown off by your engine. Oh, that's cool. Keeping it about Oh, I don't know what my speed is. <clears throat> oh you're going slow. How slow well, yeah, trying to catch up. Um, I don't know, I'm going 600, and I'm catching up with him. Yeah, I'm going like 450. Oh. I need to start slowing down now. Well, I can speed up. I'm probably heavy. We all have the same not loadout. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got it on full mill right now, and I'm only creeping past 450 right now. I'm getting some altitude anyway. Don't really need to hit the deck until we hit B2. Nice. To save yeah. some gas. So Remember to set your QFE. Yep. Which I believe is 678. Yep. Uh, 978. That's what I meant. Uh, just remember, remind me when you're on your uh, B2 so I can break off out to my waypoint. Okay, sounds good. Currently about 16 mils out. Sitting about 500 based off of target QFE. Full mil, currently 500. 500 at 500. 
550 coming up. Oh. All right, I'll try to keep it at 550 for now. Clear up. Oh, we put it into rain again. <coughs> Got days. radar ping, is that you? Yeah, I feel. That's me. Okay. Okay, flying through the rain with the RWR beeping is kind of cool. <laughs> Soothing. All right, let me know when you guys are caught up. I'll punch back up. I am saddled right. Saddled right. Oh, I got I you. Don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to be, so I'm just to the right of him. That's fine. You guys can do that. All right, punching it. Fifteen mils. Big in weather. Oh, yeah. Okay, F three flyby is cool looking. <laughs> I'm still haven't even chewed through my tank fuel. I'm getting close. I'm sitting at 110 percent. Uh, yeah, I'm just under that, like 107. Well, you, we've used a lot of fuel while sitting there that you didn't use, so that makes sense. Can you go up on 95% on your RPM? Sure. 95% on what? RPM. Where is the arp? That must be that. Next it's, to the uh, altimeter. Uh, the backup altimeter? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, actually, I was basically at 95, 96. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm at 96%, give or take. Currently going Mach 0.66. Yep, same here. Cool. I like how we're passing in and out of the rain. Oh yeah, it's cool. I I have high hopes for the the development it's a of this map. Very pretty map. I was so hoping we got winter textures immediately. Yeah. I know, it'll be soon. I'm sure. Do we have knocks for the? Thing? Yes. Okay. Yep. Because uh, the thing is, uh, winter time will be mostly night. 
Ah. Uh -huh. And even if you don't, you have uh, terrain following, you have terrain mapping, or what yes, is it? We terrain do. terrain following radar. radar. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, but uh, you need to see what you're bombing, though. <laughs> And not in well, the vision, ideally, you know. <laughs> if, you, if you get, I was gonna say, technically, um, well, maybe not. You can get damn. I don't know how accurate it is, but uh, you should be able it, to get it damn depends. close. Yeah. Especially with radar bomb, with if you do uh, low drag level release, and you're you're. M point is actually on your target. It's actually very accurate. Uh huh. And you theoretically could do it blind. It's pretty fun. I don't think the model uh, drifting on this. Uh, I mean, no, it does drift. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Not that often. Though. Um. It's I was actually uh, thinking about doing a f having a fixed point. On this flight, but then we switched the flight plan. Oh, oops! It's fine because I don't remember how to do a fix. Actually, I kind of remember how to do a fix. I remember how to screw it up. Yeah, by accidentally doing a fix, like pulling the freaking trigger because yep. I made it the trigger. Apparently, Fallen's tank is empty. Yep. Luckily, there's no houses around for that to fall on. No, but there's quite a few roads out here. Some random car might just have a gas tank added to their... I think end. it would be crazy to come around a corner on a country road and see three fighter j jets taxing. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, back in the, the Charver, we used to do that, actually. We used to close the road for the seaplanes to go over the road and get, get into the water oh. and also close the roads when somebody was uh, landing or taking off because the wrong way ended on the road that was kind of funny that the first time I, when, when I got there we were driving to our hotel and I see this sign on the road that says yield to aircraft on the road I'm like yeah I see a plane in the middle of the road yeah I'll yield it You'll have yeah. to right away. So, if the light on the warning panel goes out, though, doesn't that mean your tank is empty already? Um, since the uh, the gauge is in percentage, your external tank is empty when you hit a hundred. Yeah. Okay. So the light doesn't matter. No. Because that's been off for a while. Yeah, I don't really use that. Are we going to your B1? Yeah. We got five mils. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's just 50 case. And then, I guess your B2 is left? Uh, actually, I think it's right. Is it right? Because uh, my... B1 is south of the airfield and it's left to, from us. Oh, maybe? I thought... Now I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I was focused more on B2 to B3, not so much B1 to B2. Drifting a little bit. You know, just check right. Yeah, you always have to give it a little bit of rudder because for some reason she doesn't fly straight. Yeah.
Okay, what mock do I need to be for this? Um, I mean, we're between point eight and point nine. Right. Okay. For, for drop at about a hundred and fifty yeah. meters. A hundred to a hundred and fifty meters. Yeah, those are conditions for uh, the drop of the uh, basically Mark 82s. As soon as you unsafe, the HUD will put you, will, or no, when you go to it, is it? It's a nav. This one's in nav mode. Yeah. Well, uh, if you set up a, a target point, it will still give you uh, a release uh, cue. Right. Like, you have the thing flashing. Uh, that'll tell you, like, that you're in parameters. All right, we got 25 kilometers to uh, B1. And that's the tank empty. Goodbye. Okay, dumping external. Yeah. That was a... Uh Tank going down. Just littering in here. All right. All right. Fifteen kilometers. Ten kilometers. Five kilometers. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Told you. Yep. All right, punching it up to full throttle. I'll make it us to go to uh, Burner Dome. Well, I thought you guys weren't following me anymore. No, so well, uh, B2. I am. I'll break off on B2. Oh, B2, my bad. And I think, yeah, so I think our targets Phil, are right next to each other. Yeah, I think yeah, Phil is uh, going. Oh, so Phil's way. staying with me. Okay. Yeah. You're going to go to I'm just going to form up on your left and. Uh, I'm going to hit the other side of the the A pad. Got it. Well, we're going to want to bump up speed when we hit B2 anyway because we need to get up to at least point 0.8. So I will probably go into burner 1 at least to get us up there as soon as we hit B2. How far are you from me too? Seven mils.
I've got to get in the habit of uh, doing the visual check a lot more often in the Viggen since we don't have anything other than an RWR. Check of what? Just, you know, so we don't get jumped by something. Just get in the habit of looking around. I do that uh -huh. anyways with any aircraft. Well, yes, but the Viggen is... It's still something that I need to do because if I am, like, if I'm not aware of what exactly the mission is set up to do. All right, a bit of altitude here. Uh, uh, humans are creatures of habit, so this is a habit you have to make with everything, so you don't have to worry about it. Yep, and you got to do it for at least 30 days before it sticks. Means I need to start aerial refueling every day for 30 days. <laughs> right. <laughs> Probably gonna have to need to go up again. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like that's why like I constantly check my six. I will look around, making sure nothing is flying. Even though we have no reports for bandits in this one, still looking around for them. Mhm. Mm and I don't even think about it. Just something I do. Because even if you have like an actually good RWR, you know, maybe the bandit has the radar off, or uh, it takes a little bit to find it when he jumps you, or whatever. Right. Thirty-five kilometers. Fallen, did you actually re-slot and go back out on the mission? I did it to go and check it out, uh, uh, if it was doable. I did drop my bombs up, but I just didn't say anything. No. I was a little bit, uh, a little bit pissed. So the, uh, the fulcrums weren't there when you returned? I think that after they <coughs> engaged us, they, they, they turned around and went back to engage some vipers. And I got there by the time people, people were uh, egressing anyways. Kilometers. I see it down. Yeah, no, my thought was with the there's a lot of small islands we could potentially use for nav fixes. Right on. And small islands seem like they'd be an easy choice for radar fixing. Yeah, you'd think so. All right, or this bridge down here to the left would have been a good fix, yeah. which I was thinking about at the time. All right, here we go. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm breaking off and uh, going dark. Okay. All right, dive Heading into the, the ground. Point. Yep. <clears throat> Fencing in. <laughs> And we're bumping it up to burner one. Yeah, it was the plan once I actually get into... Wow, I would harder turn right than I thought I would. There we go.
Safety off. Oh, it completely removed my HUD. There we go. I see it now. Yeah, it's all the way in underneath. That's fine. Yeah, as soon as you uh, safety off it. I'm going to leave that on until the last second then. <laughs> yeah. I leave that off. Uh, leave safety on until you can see the airfield, essentially. Right. <clears throat> Remember, the only thing pointing to the pop-up point is your HUD. Right. The yellow marker on your HSI and the distance marker still refer to M3, not U3. All right, coming out of burner one, I should have enough momentum to carry me at point eight. Put it in as necessary. Twenty kilometers out. Oh no, I'm not. There we go. Pop up point reached. Turning on target. Twenty kilometers. Oh God, is the target obscured? Target looks like it's going to be inside of, uh... Well, there goes Fallen. Huh? I crossed us again. Did I? Oh. <laughs> yep, just in front of me. Wait, how? I'm going... I don't know. Somebody just crossed in front of me. Yeah. I'm, I'm level with you off to your left. We are, like, neck and neck. I see that, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because I'm going south of the airfield. I, I see where you're going. Up oh, there's the airfield. I see it. Oh, which line do I want? Oh, shit. Safety off. Safety off. Oh, there's the line. Oh, God, that's flak. Oh, shit. shit, that is flak. Oh, I missed target. I missed. Oh, I'm dead. I missed too. Drop shit. I did too, but I was offline and missed. I got something blocking at me. Is it a Shilka there? There, yes. There's one. I think there's one Shilka on the airfield. I think it's on the northwestern side. I'm out. Also, I'm I'm behind you again. Hmm? Are you alive? You zoom. Yeah. Nice. I got nicked, but I didn't take a hard hit, so I'm still flying, and I seem to... Everything seems to be working. Okay. I don't seem to have a fuel leak. Are we <laughs> landing on two On my two kills, or... apparently I hit, I hit infantry, is what I hit. <laughs> nice. I went over the... Uh, they look like foxhounds. So, uh, yeah. based on my lineup, um, I'm not sure you don't input it in true coordinates. I was, I agree. I was way off to the right. Yeah, same. I think it's entered in true. I entered in magnetic and it wasn't close. Like, even with the calculating for the distance we covered during the turn, that still didn't feel close. Right. Uh, do you have him in sight? Yeah. Okay, I'm slowing What's down. What's your speed? I'm going to slow down to around 750. I'm at 900 right now. Yeah. And actually, we could just burn her home. Right, it's cooler to get their information. Ooh. 
lights coming back on. Yeah, we'll just land on 22. Okay. And set the QFE again. I, uh, I had to duck under a flak burst, which may have compromised the bomb line a slight, but I panicked. I was trying to stay the course, and I was literally flying straight at AAA, like it was coming oh, right yeah. at my no, face. Oh, yeah, no, one one of them came right at me, and I basically do I dropped a hundred meters. Yep. And wasn't in a good position to, uh... Nope, they didn't kill the... They, they, they shot me right in the face. Hey, nice. double rainbow. Yeah. Nice. Did your speed 750? Yarp. Yeah, the only thing it said I damaged was infantry. Because I en ended up going... What the fuck? Because I was not level when I dropped my bombs. So they drifted far to the left of the pad. Oh, well, I guess I killed well, all the all the uh, the fox bats and the uh, IL seventy sixes that were in the parking lot. That's funny. All gone. <clears throat> so that was successful. I missed entirely. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even drop my bombs. I didn't get a chance, but I shifted right because it looked like I was going to be hitting the wrong area entirely. But I was so far off my angle that what I thought was the target area wasn't because I wasn't expecting it to look at it from a forty-five degree angle. Yeah. So true. Gotta remember that. Well, at least we learned something. You know, that's why you got to do this. Because, yeah, I wasn't sure, and I couldn't find anything in the manual that specified whether it was true or magnetic. Right. I'm moving up on your right. Uh, I see. see any holes in my aircraft by any chance? Slow down a little bit. Oh yeah, your nose is pepper. Oh, oh, that's fun. Yeah, nose and uh, intake. There's a uh, lot of holes. Well, I don't seem to be leaking fuel, so. Nah. Well, at least it didn't seem to hit any of your systems. Uh, that I know of. Because uh, I can hear your radar going off. Everything seems to be working. Now, <clears throat> you might want to check later if your wheel didn't get shot. Oh! That's a good idea.
We have enough fuel, we could just burn her the rest of the way. Nah. It's really kind of hard to keep a... Uh... I'll go to burner one and then and you can... Use the... Just the... to speed up the... Uh... Yeah. I don't think I'm leaking fuel. Well, I guess if they shot up the nose, I'm not leaking fuel. No. That probably just will be something like avionics or the radar. Yeah, when I when I flew flown in, I saw three uh, triple A's shooting at me. Yeah, even the road base, which is closer to those airfields than any of the air, the blue airfields, it's still a really long distance. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the right distance because you don't want to get too close either. It's fine to have a little bit of a relaxing fly before you get to the thick of it. And then everything happens in the span of 10 seconds. Yeah. I remember a long time ago, it was like, I uh, saw so the DCS experience is like you have one hour flying with your bodies to the AO and dying in five minutes. <laughs> mm hmm. Do you put the vipers on? Did they put it on over there too? They're on the the airfield to the north. Oh. And the carrier is north of that. Gotcha. Carrier has a flight of four Tomcats on it, and the airfield has four vipers. No hornets? What's wrong with you? I thought about that after I'd already saved the mission. It was like, shit, I forgot to put hornets on the carrier. <laughs> so I didn't even think about the hornet. I was just, I was focused on Tomcats. Fine, you had your priorities, right? It was Tomcats and Viggins, and I was like, well... If other people show up, maybe I should put some seed aircraft in there, and the Viper came to mind before the Hornet did. Technically, the Hornet would be better. Well, I mean... I think Diat is better in the Viper. Because you're able to find the exact location of it. Really? The Hornet kind of can do it, but it's a little bit tricky. But when it comes to Seat, I think the Hornet is better because he had tops. One hundred and fifty kilometers to go. I'm almost tempted to just go full burner three. Although even in burner two, I'm already at Mach point nine. Yeah. Or not burner two. This is just burner one. Yeah, I just keep it on one so you can fly some sort of... Oh, you're still far away. <laughs> I still have 50 per... I have over 50% of a t tank left. Yeah, I have 40. Sitting at But yeah, the front of the aircraft literally got peppered. <laughs> the back is fine. The front is just... It literally looks like someone just... It does look like pepper. <laughs>
that nav. Oh, go straight. I'm gonna check right a little bit because I think it wants me a little bit more to the right. I'm gonna have to get off a burner maybe because uh, I am 30% now. I mean, we could climb. Nah. 100 kilometers. So. Interesting that yours wants you to go that way. I, I think it's just for a wrong way alignment. Are you in landing nav already? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's probably why. Well, if you're already in land nav, I'm going to go switch to it. <sighs> yep, there it goes. She's also so squarely at this speed. You don't like the autopilot. I'm gonna get off of a burner because uh, I'm 25%. Seventy kilometers anyway, so it takes a while to slow down. Oh, it's not taking us... Oh, because we are basically lined up, so it's not giving us an approach point. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I know. You gotta go straight in, and I'll just follow you in? Yeah. I don't know, gas or... Am I sitting on now? Plane is yelling at me. Ok, 
Okay, 40 kilometers. I think at 20 I'm gonna start slowing to approach speed. Although actually, I might slow to approach speed now just to put some separation between us. Okay, I'll wait until it's slower to you because I want. Well, I'm going a thousand kilometers per hour, so it's going to take a while. Yeah, I just idled back, and I'm just going to let it coast down. <clears throat> The road doesn't have lights, right? No. Hmm. Not that I'm aware of. I like how you slow down and you stop hearing the rain noise gets louder than the wind noise. Yeah. I see the road. You see it? Yeah. And uh, this thing's a little bit off as usual. Always is. Oh. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Gears coming down. Stuff. I'm just gonna keep taxiing towards the end of it. Okay, I'm down. Ah, uh, fuck. It's a, quite a stutter right there. Oh, I was you turning off your radar to <laughs> stutter my game.
Are you in the same parking lot, Stitch? No, I left the server a while ago. If you guys were landing, I wasn't too much point in going back out again. Huh? Because I had to fly all the way over there again. So I was waiting until you guys were going to be done. Well, the rain is done. Oh yeah. Apparently it's slightly dynamic. Shut up, you hoof varni. I'm pretty sure I I put the uh, English cockpit in this thing with still everything in Swedish. Hmm. The only difference I see is that now, in the, uh, underneath the, the HUD, I get the conversion between meters and uh, flight level, or, or feet. Gotcha. I didn't used to have that before. <coughs> so what did you, uh, how much gas did you have left? 30%. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. What I'm is sitting at 35%. Um, did you figure out what the minimum actual temperature of the hind and the hip are? Uh, no idea. I know negative uh, 3 at altitude is too much for it. Parallel parking. Yeah. Should be right. Yeah, that's pretty much where I started. I guess all things considered, it was kind of a success, anyways, because uh, got all the planes on the the apron. you use your thrust to stop the your brakes. <laughs> it's fine. It's Only some holes in the front of the airplane. Other than that, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. 